Good morning, traders, all of you in Asia, in the Asian time zone. Welcome to Privateer FX, Asian preview, the North American wrap. Well, we had a one-day wonder in stocks. Can't say I'm all that surprised. Turn around Tuesday, as they call it. Um, just always seems to happen that way. So we're going to start out with NASDAQ. Had a powerful move down on Monday. We have since bounced. It did not make a lower low yesterday during your time. Inside inside bar, but did retrace a bit. Um, take a look here at the... Uh, that's the daily. Hold on. Let's take a look at the 240 chart. I think I drew this. Yes, I did. You know, this has room to 6667. It's 200 points higher. If, in fact, we've put in a low, which I'm still not completely sure. The bounce happened early, uh, just after lunchtime, New York, where there was a Bloomberg headline that we think was the same headline that we saw yesterday, where Trump wasn't planning on doing anything with uh, with Amazon, you know, any kind of antitrust or anything, even though he has been tweeting them to death the past few days, including over the weekend. So that, that you know, that was a, this was merely a short covering rally. You can see this hourly big up bar. This was right around uh, uh, 145. Chicago time, powerful rally up, and now it's kind of consolidating. So S&P's followed suit. Both of them were pretty much unchanged when that Amazon, when the uh, Trump headline came, came out, and uh, they both ended up closing up about 1.5%. SPX was 1.2%. NDX was just over 1%. Um, Ten-year yields shot up today. Uh, here the bonds are. the daily so we went and made that low on Monday you know with equity selling off and we've uh, we didn't reverse higher but it's it, it traded higher today let's pop over to the currencies Actually, let's just do crypto real quick we haven't really talked about cryptos had a nice day finally um, all of them up between five and ten percent you know this is after an extended sell-off we don't think the bottom is anywhere near you know, I, I, I'm still bearish. This, uh, these, I think they can retrace another 30% or so before I'm really interested in buying it. But you know, buying on dip is is, is a good idea. Tesla came out with their uh, car production numbers this morning. It gapped up from 250 to 250. It was a close on Monday. We opened. Here at 269, but as you can see on the daily, we actually closed lower on the day at 267. This thing is a piece of shit. Um, there's been pl you can follow it. Just follow it on on Twitter. There's some interesting people that are that are watching the, this stock closely, and I think uh, there's no reason this isn't going to 100 in the next few months, if not lower. Um, so watch this. It, it tried to fill the gap. I'd like to resell this 277 area. I think it'll fill that gap probably tomorrow and then resell it. You know, for me, stocks are in kind of a shorter term downtrend, so I'm selling rallies until further notice. Uh, VIX came off 10% today. Currency is generally very quiet. We'll take a look at Cross Yen that had powerful down moves yesterday, only to be completely reversed higher today. Here's dollar yen, got up to the uh, got as high as the uh, three-quarter fib of this recent swing um, so that you know that bounce and remember we were talking about all the end crosses big red red bar down days on Monday right back up stronger on Tuesday CAD yen was a big mover today not an outside reversal bar but a really powerful move up and that was on some positive cat uh, NAFTA comments Trump wants to get this NAFTA deal done in the next two weeks. He said that yesterday, about 24 hours ago. Um, Euro yen, same thing. Strolling in. 
holding right in here. Interesting how we, we did talk about this 148.50 uh, area is the, the 200 day moving average and it's held. So we're stuck between these two moving averages, the 100 day and the 200 day. Either side of those go and I would get with that, that momentum move. Kiwi ended a powerful day up, outside reversal, bullish engulfing, as we like to say. This has got room up to the uh, 78, 40, 50 area, which is the 100 day. So that's about it in the currencies. We've got, uh, we've got uh, EU CPI coming up this week. We have ADP tomorrow. We've got uh, the Fed minutes from Powell's first Fed meeting. Although he's speaking Friday, so we don't think it's that big a deal. And then the highly anticipated, most likely waste of time, sell vol before it, which is something we're doing, uh, NFP and uh, average hourly earnings on Friday. Uh, good luck trading tonight, today, and uh, we will speak to you 24 hours from now. All the best. Cheers.